as it turns out, this is going to be the outfit for the barbecue. A yellow top, some jeans from Fashion Over from a long time, and some slippers that y'all can't even see. Because guess what? <laughs> Just remember that the air was on. That is the outfit for the barbecue. Somebody forgot to tell me that. The event was themed, and the theme is yellow. So, the initial outfit that I had in mind, that just will not work anymore because the event is themed. You guys know how I feel about themed events. I literally hate themed events because I feel like, especially last minute themed events, right? Had I known about this from two weeks ago, great. This last second, I'm literally gonna have to just grab something that I already have that I may not like for this event and wear. And here we are. Oh, he can find a nice little yellow shirt to wear and it's all good. I gotta wear this. And then I put on a dress and he was like, um, what did you say about the dress again? Too tight. The dress was too tight, that's a dress. Can't win, I can't just be a baddie. If I don't wear a bra with a dress that has no shoulders. We know men know nothing about fashion. But yeah, oh, let me see if I can. Listen, disregard the clothes on the floor because I was literally looking for jeans, but this is what that outfit looks like. The mirror, quick, let's, let's not. And I'm wearing these little shoes. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll just do, I'm gonna do one of those bags, maybe just a black, cause I don't know. But that's basically the fit. And the man forgot to, told, to tell me from however long that the event is themed so shit out of luck here so it is what it is i came home and barely got any sleep i feel like i'm a little bit um horsed last night was such a good night with my friend now i'm waiting on an uber because the man cannot draw me today so my uber's a few minutes away and um yeah should probably go downstairs right now because he's coming but last night was such a good night we ended up going to a little club after the barbecue oh nice that's our spot but i'll see you guys later because last night i went out with my friend and had a good good night I didn't have any food so I had to come to Dunkin' to buy a little sandwich. Now when I'm looking at it, I realize that I could have gone to a little deli across the street to go buy something else. But I somehow feel like I need to go home and cook because this not having food is not it at all. I mean, I don't know that I'm ready to carry food either and I literally just have one more day of the day shift before I transition to the night shift. Which when I do transition to the night shift, I would have already eaten before like I get here. So. I wouldn't necessarily need to bring food. I just need to bring like a little snack with me because that time of the night, who's gonna be eating? But again, I don't really know. I gotta see. But I'm sitting here. I sell latte. Also need to go to the grocery store so I can buy coffee because I do have a nice cup that I got for Christmas and I'm planning to take my coffee with me in at night because I'm not gonna be coming down here to come buy coffee. Mm -mm. Worst case scenario is if I'm starving, I will maybe buy some hash browns. But outside of that, the plan is not to come buying things. You know, especially not after I go to the grocery store. Because there's always food at home. But I um, mean, yeah, it was a smooth day today so far. A different preceptor again because I am on a different floor. But tomorrow I'm going back to the floor that I am indeed going to be working on, which I'm very excited about that. And tomorrow I have to let my preceptor sign off on my paper and then um, we're going to do some night shift. As I'm walking home, it just hit me how fast the orientation is going by and then I'm literally going to be working all by myself. And I think I know what I'm doing, so I don't think I'm nervous. And comparing this job to working in a nursing home, this job is literally easy money because working in a nursing home is like a little bit more and like it really does require time management and like some form of skill 
and this does require time management too but just on a different level and i feel like i'm both excited and like pooping my pants at the same time hi y'all so i just got home but it's literally coming down to that time where i'm literally going to be working by myself and I'm kind of scared shitless, I'm not gonna lie, even though I feel like I'm definitely able to manage the work because I've worked harder than this before, so I'm sure that with that I'm gonna be able to manage, but I'm also afraid that, you know, there's no form of teamwork or like unity, but I was reassured today, but I was also on a different floor that, you know, there's gonna be teamwork and there's gonna be unity, so I'm trying to see what that's about, but today was a pretty good day. Tomorrow I go on my original floor. Um, I said I was gonna cook, but honestly, I just wanna lay down because last night when we went out, I didn't, I didn't smoke the hookah because I know that when I smoke the hookah and drink it, it really gets me to a level. And so, I didn't smoke the hookah, but I did drink. But when I came home, I also drank um, some liquid IV, and drinking the liquid IV makes you feel so much better. I so far I've always had for a very long time, and I'm there's literally two left in the box. And I'm literally gonna buy some more because I feel like that should be a staple. Everybody should always have that. So I'm gonna buy some more. But um, for the most part, it really worked out for me. I really fucking locked out all that. Okay, but last night was a really, really good night. I feel like it was very much needed. And I was able to go to work today and perform like a normal human being. So that was also very nice. But right now I think I might lay down and watch some TV and see if I can like take a little nap. But honestly, I do not feel like I'm tired. And I know that maybe it's not going to hit me right now until later on. But sometimes too, when I sleep, uh, these days I've realized that when I sleep at 3, <clears throat> like, uh, when I wake up, I'd be feeling slumped. <laughs> like, it's not even a joke. So I decided that I'm not gonna, unless I literally feel like I need it so, so bad. Which right now I don't feel like that, so I think I'm going to be fine. But for the most part, I'm here. Good day at work today. Orientation day. What is this, 7? I don't really know. Whatever day this is. I think, I think maybe, let me see. Yeah, I think it's definitely day seven. And um, it's going good. Uh, tomorrow is my last day shift. And then I transition to night shift. And that's kind of exciting. Because I want to see the runnings of the shift that I'm actually going to be on. But I will let you guys know.